Hello, my name is Ryan, and I'd like to take you on a tour of Flowhub's new Custom Categories feature. Users with the Client Categories permissions on their role will now see this Categories tab on the Parent Inventory view. When we click into it, you'll notice that we have the Flowhub Leaf icon designating default categories that are already in the system. You'll also notice that on this flower category I've configured as a custom category, there is no flow of leaf icon, and the base category is listed as flower, which we can see here has been hidden with this green check mark. If I click into this category, we get a nice summary of the fields that are on the inventory items and products. And when I hit edit, we can take a deeper look at the functionality. You'll notice that we're hiding the base category here with this checkbox. All products and taxes have been updated. And we can see here that I've updated the percent cannabinoid fields to be only available on the inventory batch specific level, as well as made the CBD field and the THC field required. Now let's say we wanted to do the same thing to our concentrates category in the state of Colorado. We're gonna hit clone and edit. We're gonna leave the name the same. We'd like to keep that standard. Hide the base category. That's gonna be essential for keeping the name the same. And then we can come down here and simply toggle those cannabinoid fields to only be enterable at the inventory level. Now let's say we'd also like to remove the CBN field. We can hit remove here. And now when I come up and click save, we're gonna get this warning message. It says all products and taxes that are already associated with the base category will be updated. Any data previously uh, entered on fields that have been eliminated will still be available. So we'll click continue. And let's go look at a concentrates product to see exactly what happened there. <clears throat> and as we click into this concentrates item, we can see here fields no longer existing on the current category. Our CBN field with its value of three is still present and no data has been lost. If we'd like, we can remove that value and hit save. Also, if we look at the inventory items associated with this, we can see that these are required and are still available on the inventory level. If I were to create a new inventory item, we will be required to enter those fields. All right. So now let's say we wanted to create a brand new category. We're gonna hit new category and select our base category. Now in this case, I wanna create an, a beverage category from the edibles base category. Now the base category that you choose here is very important because the configuration of purchase limits and labels from this base category will be carried over to the custom category. And we don't want to update our products on save because we have pre-existing edibles that we want to leave where they are. If we wanted to add or remove or make any other adjustments to fields while we're here, we could do that. Just for the sake of this demo, <clears throat> let's add the invoice field to be optional on inventory. All right, and now we're gonna hit save and create this new beverages category. And we can see here, we've got our beverages category, the edibles base category. And if we go over to products, we can create a beverages category item here. Let's say we want to do a Keef Cola. And you'll notice that all of the fields that we'd like to add, milligram THC, CBD, as well as everything else related to that item is here. 
<clears throat> one thing you will want to make sure you do when you create new categories is come over to the taxes interface and make sure that you add that item to its applicable taxes. So here we can see our beverage category. And we're going to, want to toggle that on. This is, in essence, the functionality of custom categories. We have release notes describing this in greater detail. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.